Yeah, no, seven and two is, is a great homestand. I mean, you go in, um, you know, facing the Giants, the Blue Jays, and the A's, and that's, uh, we talk about defending your home, and that, that we, we played well. I mean, we played, you know, really on all, all aspects, pretty much the entire homestand. You know, I know we got off to a rough start the first game against San Francisco, so even take that one away, and, and we had a pretty complete homestand when it comes to competing, pitching, defense, some timely hitting. Um, we saw a little bit of it today. Yeah, it encompassed the whole uh, the whole homestand. So uh, proud of this group. We just keep keep uh, taking it one day at a time, and winning. And that's that's a good uh, that's a good outcome. The Gattis homer kind of not like you read easier, but just the they just scored. You got who you got in the mound in the bullpen. Right. Get you the lead right. Yeah. Now. No. I mean, we you know today's it was it was pretty interesting. I thought Han threw the ball very well. Um, he didn't walk anybody, so we didn't really have a ton of. Uh, activity on the bases. We made, you know, Jake got thrown out, steal in third, but other than that, um, he just never really gave in to us and then and then got us up with a big blow. So, um, you know, I think our, our offense is confident enough to know that if we hang in there enough, we, somebody's going to do something. Um, and then once somebody does that, that, that one thing, it seems to propel everybody else to have good at bats and, and continue some innings. So, um, Again, we've seen the good. I mean, some some guys. It's not that we can't be shut down. They're, they're, we face a pretty good pitching, but um, you know, we, we can be we can be pretty tough on on the opponent once we uh, once we break through with a big hit. You talk about the quality of that bats that put you through the course of a game. What's the key mm -hmm. in your mind to that? Because it seems like you're getting the slight rounds because the at bats are so much better. Yeah, I think the timing the timing of the hitters, the pitch recognition. Um, I think Hudge and and Zenner have done a great job of. Uh, of syncing our guys up and getting them really, really zoned into what they do well and what they hit well. Um, you know, like we have a lot of guys that um, that could be considered bad ball hitters, but that doesn't mean you want to chase every bad ball. And I, I think our guys are starting to get the, the idea that they can hang in there during the at bat. Um, we've taken some borderline strikes, borderline balls, and and both of those are to your advantage if you can't handle the pitch. You know, I think. Um, so much conversation has gone around our strikeouts, but a lot of our strikeouts, uh, if they're outside the strike zone, that's really what we focus on when, when, when we're punching out a lot. When we're doing damage, it's, it's we've, we've gotten ourselves in a good count, uh, or we waited long enough in the at-bat to get a pitch to hit. And, and what we've found is up and down the lineup, we can do damage once we get a good pitch to hit. Yeah, no, I mean, I think that's that's the other part of, of the characteristic of this team we've talked about before is the, um, the at-bat by at-bat mentality, you know, and the first at-bat doesn't impact the second at-bat, which doesn't impact the third at-bat, uh, unless you want to carry the positives. We, we do allow them to carry the positive body uh, from at-bat to at-bat, so, uh, and that, 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 you get four of them, especially at the top of the order, Altuve and Springer and, and Valbuena are going to get four or five, and even Valbuena leading off the inning with a base hit. Um, he's got a ton of power. He's one of the one of the highest home run totals of third baseman in the big leagues. Uh, yeah, it just allows you single starts that that inning where we stretch our lead and get um, get get you know put the game away. And Dallas was kind of back to first six weeks. Dallas. Yeah, I thought he was as sharp as he's been all year early. Um, you know, he, they made him work a couple innings that were pretty long, um, which which got him out of there after seven, but. Um, he really dialed it up in, in a couple innings, you know, when they had the, the bases loaded, um, he got the comeback or he makes the play. I mean, he makes almost every play that's hit back at him. Um, but his pitch quality today was uh, was excellent. You know, he's the perfectionist that he is, he's probably gonna be a little harder on himself than I am, but um, I love the way that he, he found ways to um, to not to not break when, when he had a couple seeing eye singles. Um, you know, Butler was on base, so they had a hard time getting him around the bases, but uh, he competed pretty well. Do you go into a Dallas Keuchel start just thinking if we can just get one or two runs? We'll be no, I don't, no, I want as many runs as we can score, but <laughs> but I, I we feel like we're going to be in the game. You know, I mean, I think the the the, the days of Keuchel's, uh, you know, written, and, it really, and to be honest with you, it's we're starting to get that feeling across the board with our starting rotation that uh, they're going to hang in there long enough for us to. Uh, you know, the breakthrough, whether that's the breakthrough in the first inning, whether it's breakthrough later in the game. Um, our rotation does a good job of keeping us in the game. Keiko obviously leads that. Um, you know, we know he's going to uh, most likely be out there six, seven, eight innings. We're going to see nine innings event. Oh, we already saw it once in Oakland. Um, our, our team's confident with, with, with Dallas is on the, on the mound. So this morning you wanted to kind of open one up 
on up so you're back yeah. your bullpen. Yeah, no, I, I still don't feel like she made me feel any better, <laughs> to be honest. After doing that, you know, five runs still feels um, feels feels less than what I'd like, but um, I love how we how we did open that one up at the end with again get a leadoff runner on base. Um, I thought the tag up when when Rasmus hit the, the sack fly, having VR who had pinch run for Gaddis tag up changes the whole concept of that that inning. Carter with the big base hit. I don't know what the velocity off the bat was, but that's about as hard a ball was hit today. Um, and we you know we scored a couple runs in in, in unique fashion for us that didn't include Homer. Yeah, it was a good deal. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks, you guys.